This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of October 22nd, 2023. We're still in the eclipse gauntlet, the time between the Libra solar eclipse and the Taurus lunar eclipse. This week, the gauntlet gets very dark and spooky. Mercury and Mars are already in Scorpio as we start the week. And on the 23rd, the sun also enters that sign. So the predominant energy of the sky is undercurrent-oriented, spidey senses on overdrive. Lots and lots of communication without words, simply knowing, perceiving, understanding, trafficking in secrets and in power, and a lot of action and forward motion without tipping your hand as to what you're doing. It's as if everybody has a mask on this week, and the mask is obscuring what's really going on inside each person. We very quickly get our bearings because as the sun changes signs, it's doing what Every planet does as soon as it changes signs, and that is have a contact with Saturn, which is parked at the first degree of Pisces. And on the 24th, when the sun contacts Saturn in a trine, there is an organic and effortless stabilizing, solidifying, steadying. We're going through this gauntlet on radar or sonar or bat vision or whatever you want to call it that is not logic-driven navigation. And do take a moment on the 24th to enjoy the sensation of grounding. The spooky, subterranean, non-rational influences get a decided boost by the weekend when Mars makes an opposition to Jupiter. The enormity of what you're perceiving may be overwhelming, and you will probably be simply taking it in rather than actually acting on it. And this tension hits its peak as the moon becomes full. The Taurus full moon on October 28th is a lunar eclipse. It's shining into all those deep, dark corners where the Scorpio energy has been floating around, and it is revealing secrets. It's revealing power games. It's revealing who really owns what, who controls what resource. It's ending chapters. It's slamming doors. It is breaking your grip on a lot of things in your life. You may be leaving situations. There may be people leaving. This is not one of those times where it benefits you to run after anything. Let go your grasp. Let go your grip. And also do some active tossing yourself. This eclipse, this full moon, is bringing a cycle to a close. It is wrapping up a reevaluation, a resetting, and a rebooting of our relation to money and resources that we have been undergoing during the Taurus-Scorpio eclipses for the past two years. Be honest with yourself about what has been building. Be honest with yourself about what has already been cracking and leaving. And above all, be honest with yourself about how your values have evolved in the past couple of years and particularly your valuation of your self and your own talents and abilities. Many changes and departures will happen extremely quickly, but a number of them are going to take a while to play out. So know that this eclipse is not going to be a one-day affair. None is. As much as you can bring yourself to, simply observe. Mercury is also opposing expansive Jupiter on the far side of the eclipse. Mars opposes Jupiter just before. Mercury opposes Jupiter just after, both on the same day. The information may be overwhelming. The revelations may be overwhelming. Just sit back, 
and take them in on Sunday, the next day, the 29th, Mercury and Mars meet, and you will likely have a clear idea of what your next step is. This is a walk your talk moment, an influence that translates thoughts into action. And since both of these planets are in Scorpio, what comes out of this could be deeply internal, could be under the surface could be incredibly strategic, could inspire you to research a lot. It's likely that a lot of Halloween celebrations will occur during this weekend, and trick-or-treaters could be bountiful, and you might not be so inclined to give up your own candy. Homing thought of the week. How important is it? Song of the week. I've got two, and they're both old. I can see for miles and miles by The Who, and Money Changes Everything by Cyndi Lauper. In the image of the week, I also have two of those. One is Sonar, and the other is A Treasure Chest. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the Taurus Full Moon Lunar Eclipse which is at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have... Lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I post on Instagram and threads at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.